What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about how Tesla's vehicles, from both a hardware and software perspective, are bringing in a new paradigm of safety for the automotive industry. I think this is something that gets extremely overlooked when th- when people think about Tesla's company, its mission, and its products. Yes, the cars are extremely fast. They're extremely fun to drive. They have fart mode. They have video games. They're controlled by this amazing touch screen. You know, there's all this fancy tech in Tesla's cars, um, and they're amazing products from a design standpoint, from a looking beautiful standpoint point from a longest range of an EV standpoint. You know, all those specs are amazing, but I think probably the most important thing that blows all of those away um, that has not gotten, Tesla's frankly just not got enough credit for is safety. Tesla's cars are by far the safest on the road. More and more data is coming out about this and they're frankly ushering in a new paradigm of automotive safety. You know, automo- automobiles are one of the most dangerous things that we do in our lives is getting in a car. It's responsible for tens of thousands of deaths every single year. It's a huge friction to society in the simulation. We rapidly need to improve the safety of our transportation system. Without further ado, let's just jump into the data. NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration, a uh, government body tested the who, who tests all the you know safety ratings from a crash test perspective or, or probability of injury perspective. Um, the Model S and X, Tesla's first two cars, were the lowest probability of injury ever tested for any cars by NHTSA, and the Model 3 even beat that. So I think this graphic just really goes to show you how the Tesla's vehicles have set a new standard for safety from a hardware perspective these are the top 50 vehicles ever tested by NHTSA since 2011. And as you can see, Tesla's really in a class of their own there. But the data goes even beyond that because it's not just about Tesla building a car, which is structurally safer from you, which they're able to do because they have the electric skateboard, they have less moving parts, they're able to build a more sturdy frame. That's part of the reason that, and they don't have like this huge engine block in the front that you know hits you essentially the entire front or front trunk as a crumple zone. So that's part of the reason why the cars are so safer. Just being an electric vehicle uh, makes that a little bit easier but also the engineering of Tesla's cars um, goes a long way here. But that's all the hardware. That's great. But the software has even more potential. And Tesla, as of a couple quarters ago, started releasing vehicle safety reports every single quarter, essentially saying how many accidents their cars got in, in autopilot mode, um, in active safety mode, compared to NHTSA's um, average you know, accident data. So if we dive in here to hypercharts, you can see that um, we've been charting this since Tesla's been releasing the data. Here, this yellow line, which says United States, is that NHTSA data, basically the average um, miles between accidents for cars in the United States released by NHTSA, so it's very official data. Here in the blue, we have Tesla um, average miles between accidents on non-autopilot, so still very much safer um, than the average. Then we have here in green, Tesla active safety, and then here in red, Tesla autopilot. And as you can see, this gap is widening. Um, As we get more and more data, this is gonna be what Tesla uses to convince regulators to approve autonomous vehicle software. Even though we're not at fully self-driving yet, autopilot, which is constantly improving and iterating, um, thanks to having a fleet of almost a million cars on the road, training its neural net, literally getting better by the day, we're already seeing a huge and widening gap in the safety of Tesla's vehicles. So just to put some numbers on it, you know, one in every uh, 500,000 miles, it looks like we're seeing a crash on average by the average American driver. For Tesla on autopilot, it's once in every 4.34 million miles. That's almost eight to nine times safer. You're eight, you could drive eight to nine times more miles um, and get in the same amount of accidents if you have Tesla's autopilot activated. It's almost an order of magnitude safer from the percent percentage chance that you get in an accident than the average driver is today. So we're already seeing Tesla's autonomous vehicle software make a huge improvement, moving the needle on safety, probably already saving countless lives. And so, you know, it's not going to be perfect. And I think this is one thing that gets, um, is, is going to be very difficult for, for the press and for overall society to comprehend is like, we're at a really weird time here where the, the liability is going from the individual driver to the company that produces the software that's driving that vehicle. And it's not going to be perfect. I mean, people are going to get injured in autonomous vehicles. I I just don't know how to say it. You know, like whenever you're doing a huge new technological shift, we're talking about tens of thousands of people dying every year from cars. Um, You know, we want to reduce that number. So it's not going to be perfect and there are going to be errors and there are going to be bad crashes. And I think that's like a really hard part of this whole process to stomach. Um, But is the overall goal to make transportation way safer? Are we already seeing the data that shows us that? Yes. And just to dive a little bit deeper, um, uh, Bloomberg put out this excellent survey 
um, or part three of their survey of 5,000 Model 3 owners. This part is all about autopilot. Just wanted to focus on this here. They say that more than 90% of the users of Tesla say the feature makes them feel safer. So not only are we seeing the data actually show that it is safer, but the consumers are saying they feel much safer. It's like a great second set of eyes on the road. And the overall ratings of this were extremely high, 4.49 um, out of five stars for people rating it on autopilot safety. And so at a high level here, I really just don't want to understate how big of a deal this is. And I think a lot of consumers um, don't realize how safe Tesla's cars are. And as they you know, realize this and do more homework on it, that's going to make people want to buy it. If you're carrying your kids and your family around, you want the safest car possible. And I think Tesla you know, is a really inspiring company from that perspective of if you go back and watch the OG Model 3 launch in 2016, they talk about how they want to make this the safest car ever built. And they have delivered on that. And it's only getting safer and safer with the software. So I think this is a huge huge reason people buy Teslas. It's a huge reason the products are in a class of their own. And it's a huge reason that Tesla is building a better future for all of us. We need to dramatically increase the safety of our transportation systems. And frankly, I see no other automaker making anywhere near as much progress as Tesla from both a hardware and software perspective. So anyway, um, so that wraps up this episode. Tesla is not only changing the paradigm of, you know, the, 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 the fuel, the propulsion technology that gets us from A to B, we're going from internal combustion engine to electric, but they're also changing the paradigm of safety of that vehicle and that cannot be understated and I think that's direly needed um, hyper change and disruption in the transportation market. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below about Tesla's safety, um, about this new autopilot study. Would love to hear it. This is hyper change. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun on the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.